Hey guys, it's Shannon, Whitetail Stalker, and um, we're getting a little bit more in depth in arrow building, and I want to show you a couple of things that I do. This is by no means the way you have to do it, the way you should do it. I'm not saying that. Uh, everybody has what works for them. Uh, whatever you're using this season, good luck to you. Uh, hope you know every all you fill all your tags this season. But uh, I'm going to show you what I do building arrows and how I do it and kind of explain a little bit of what's called FOC. Everybody's probably been on the Facebook pages. You've heard a little bit about that, about FOC. FOC stands for front of center. That is the weight distribution of your arrow. And I'm going to show you how to measure that, how to get to that, how to change that, what normal arrows are, how to make it better. Um, and I'm just going to show you what I do for my personal preference on my arrows and how I do that. So. Um, We'll end this introduction and get right to it. So I'm going to show you some things what I do here. Okay. Let's go, let's do some FOC stuff. So here we go. We're going to make this as fast as we can, but there's a lot to this. So I'm uh, using the Element Quake today. This is a uh, 400 series shaft. It weighs 8.7 grains per inch. And I have my arrows cut to 28 inches. And the, the 28 inches is from the throw to the knock. To the end of the insert so I've got the insert pulled out of this one right here so mine are 28 inches long when you order arrows up in a bow shop that's how they're going to cut them they're going to cut uh, 28 from the throw to your knock to the um, some will do it to the the carbon some guys will figure the insert thickness in there which is about an eighth of an inch so anywho another that's another whole another story so I want to know what the FOC of this arrow is because this is how I'm going to get this arrow this is the way this arrow when I order them I have them fleshed. I like feathers. I have three feathers on here. No wrap. Uh, when I get it, it's going to be like this. Flesh with a knock, and it's going to have a standard aluminum insert in it most times. Uh, you can request different inserts if you like, but you order an arrow, this is how they're going to come. So this arrow is 28 inches long. I know that. I've already measured it. Uh, for the sake of time, this is where we're at. So 28 inches. So what I would do is I would take my little Sharpie here, and I write down 28 inches length for the L. And then what I need to do is I need to find a balance point on this arrow. I'm going to find a balance point, wherever it may be. So what I'm going to do, I've got a set up here on my bow press here. I've got a little, uh, on one of my fingers there. I can balance right on that and get pretty darn close. So, and I'll take a Sharpie. Once I get that, once I find that balance point, I'm going to take a Sharpie something to mark it with and I'm going to make a little mark there on that shaft. It's about right there. It's pretty close. So I've made a mark with my Sharpie. Now what I'm going to do is I want to take my tape measure and I want to measure the distance from the throat of that knock to that balance point. Okay? So I'll take my tape measure, throw to that knock, 14 inches. So I've got a total length of 28, and I've got a balance point of 14 inches. So uh, obviously this is going to be some easy math, but um, to eliminate all the trying to do the math, there is Google search FOC calculator, and I'm going to post up a video clip of that uh, so you all can see that. But what you're going to do is you're going to enter L for the total length of the arrow, which mine is 28 inches. And then you're going to enter the measured length B, which is the balance center. So from the throw of the knock to the center of the balance, which is 14. And we're going to calculate the FOC. So I can tell you that from doing this enough that my arrow is 28 inches long and my balance point is 14. That means my arrow is FOC is 0%. It has a perfect balance right in the center of the arrow. So 14 inches this way, 14 that way. So when you get an arrow, when you go to the bow shop and you order up arrows, uh, this is how you get them. And they're with three feathers. Let's, let's back up here with three uh, three fletchings here. Uh, three feathers, that is. Not with, that's not going to include wraps, it's not going to include blazer veins. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But if, I, if you order a, st a straight shaft with three feathers, a knock, and an insert on this particular arrow, this element, you're going to have a 0% FOC. So, 
what you do when you go hunting. You grab your handy dandy broadhead. Today we've got a 100 grain uh, flying arrow archery cyclone. So let's just insert that broadhead in there. Now we know the length didn't change any from of my arrow, but now we've added 100 grains to the tip of this thing. So my center balance point has shifted now. Obviously, it's going to move this direction. So what we want to do now is pan back up here. We're going to move back up to our balance, get our sharpie. We're going to put this arrow back on our balance point. Going to balance this thing right about there. Make a mark. Now we're going to measure this just like we did before. I'll take my tape measure. Throw to the knock to the mark that we just made, the balance point, and this one is 17 and 3 quarters inches, so 17.75 inches. So I'm going to go back to my calculator. I'm going to plug in 28 inches for my total length. B, my balance point, I'm going to post, hopefully you, I'm going to have that video up so you can see that, the calculation. My, my B, my balance point now is 17.75. So I'm going to calculate the FOC. This arrow now has an FOC of 13.39%. And which, that I think that's pretty standard, pretty common uh, with this fletching combination, 13.39%. Um, that could be better. We could get that FOC up a little bit higher, would be a little bit better. Um, and we can do that by changing some different things, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But before we get to that, I want to show you something real quick. Again, this is a standard arrow, and I know not a lot of guys out there shoot feathers. Most guys are shooting blazer veins, and uh, wraps are pretty common too. So let me show you this real quick. I've got an arrow here. This is an Easton something or other, and it's just something that I happen to have. But it has a wrap and three blazer veins on it. Um, this arrow is a little bit shorter than the one that I shoot because this is not my arrow. I don't shoot these. Um, but the total length on this arrow with insert is going to be 26 and a quarter inches. So 26.25 inches. Let's write that down 26.25 inches. Okay, so now we're going to take a standard insert and we're going to plug it in there. And we're going to get up here to our balance point and see what our balance point is. Right about there. Take a sharpie. Make a mark. We're going to measure this. 12 inches. So we've got a balance point of 12 with a total length of 26 and a quarter. So if we figure that with no point on it, on our calculator, plug in those measurements, and I'm going to get those up where you can see them. 26.25, and we've got a balance point of 12. We've got an FOC of minus four. So we went from a standard arrow here. Now again, the length doesn't matter. We're, we're checking for FOC. So we have this arrow with three feathers that is a perfect balance of zero FOC, which is great for target shooters. Um, but then we've got this arrow that has the uh, three blazer veins and a, an arrow wrap on it. And we, what we've done is we've pushed that FOC from center up here where we want it. Now it's back here. It's a minus 3 or 4% because blazer veins and wraps are heavier. So I'm going to show you what this does now. Uh, I'm going to take the same 100 grain flying arrow archery cyclone broadhead and we're going to thread that on the end of this arrow here with the blazer vein and the wrap. And we're going to put it up here on the balance point. Come out with a 
balance point right there. Make a mark on it. We'll take our trusty tape measure here. And now we are at a balance point of 16, 16 and a half. So we'll write that down. So we're still 26.25 arrow length. And now we are 16 on a balance point. And if we go to our calculator and we write 26.25 in the length and a balance point of 16, we are now an FOC of 10.9. 10.9. So we have two different arrows. This one has this, the one with the wrap and the blazer veins on it has an FOC of 10.9%. And we've got the other arrow, which is three feathers, has an, has an FOC of 13.39. So what we've done is we've increased our FOC 3% just by putting lighter fletchings and using no wrap. And I'm not trying to say that Blazer veins and wraps are not the way to go. Uh, guys kill deer every single year with wraps and blazer veins. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is if you're going to get an arrow with a wrap and a blazer vein, just know you need to put more weight up here to get that FOC back up where it needs to be. So to get it equal with that, here's what we can do. Let me show you this. I'm going to take this broadhead off of here. Instead of an aluminum insert, which weighs... Um, I think that insert weighs about um, 14, 14, 15 grains. We're going to take a brass insert that weighs 45 grains. I'm going to insert the brass insert, put the 100 grain tip back in, put it back up on our balance point. Same arrow. Get the Sharpie out. Right about there. Okay. So now I'm going to get the tape measure back. Now we are at 17 on uh, our balance point. So if we move that 16 to a 17, go back into our calculator. And we still got the 26 and a quarter arrow and put the. <clears throat> so I've taken the arrow with the, the wrap and the blazer veins on it. I've added a heavier, just a little heavier insert with the same 100 grain broadhead and I've pushed this FOC forward uh, from 16 inches to 17 inches. So now we've got, a, we got an arrow that has an FOC of 14 inches or 14% uh, rather. So just. Remember that when, you, when you're building these arrows, or when you're getting arrows made, if you're going to get wraps and blazer veins on those, sometimes those fletchings and that wrap as adding weight to the back of your arrow, the more wrap you add, the more weight you're going to add, the more the FOC is going to be pushed back to center, which is what you don't want. You want it pushed forward toward the, the, the broadhead. So if you add this extra stuff on the back, um, again, lighted knocks. Put a lighted knock on there. Some of the wide lighted knocks are 20 to 30 grains. So if you've got, just imagine this, if you've got a wrap, blazer veins, and a lighted knock, and you've not added anything here, you're going to even push that FOC farther back, um, probably less than 10%. So you've got to add weight to the front of this thing to move this FOC back up. Again, there we go. We put the uh, brass insert in, weighs about 45 grains compared to 15 grains on a standard aluminum insert. And by doing that, we've increased the FOC on this arrow by 4%. So, um, you know, by a lot of guys' standards uh, there, I think they'd be happy with 14%. I know there's a lot of guys that uh, would not be even close to being happy with 14%. So, um, anyway, something to think about. Uh, this is going to be more to this. This is kind of my part one to FOC and arrow building. And we're going to add some more to it. We're going to play with some other arrows. We're going to add some more weights. We're going to do different... Uh, different sequence of weights, different styles, and uh, 
we'll even put some uh, lighted knocks on there and show you what those differences will be. So uh, look for video number two. This is number one. Thanks, guys.